You want to do an alto? My name is Cliff Driver, and I'm the keyboard player and the arranger of the Gospel Queen. singer from the Gospel Queens of Brooklyn. My name is Fred Thomas, I'm a bass player. My name is Gabriel Roth. I started Daptone Records with my partner Neil Sugarman here in Brooklyn, New York. 96 or 97. A friend of mine who was working uh, a and at Atlantic Records at the time, Rick Getz, called me and he told me he'd received a demo in the mail that I might be interested in. And it wasn't Naomi or Cliff, it was actually Fred Thomas. And Fred Thomas was an idol of mine as a bass player, as a James Brown enthusiast. So I said, oh my God, Fred Thomas, we gotta hook up with this guy. And they invited me down to see a show. And I went down there and saw Cliff and, uh, playing organ and Naomi singing and Fred playing bass and I was blown away. Naomi Shelton is, is the real deal. She's, she's singing to you from her heart, and she's got a huge heart. She actually has a way of, of genuinely being able to just expound love to the world. I mean, she walks around, and when she enters the room, everybody's a little better for it, you know? And she brings this to her singing. She sings with every, every drop of blood in her body. Hey, I'm original from a place called Midway, Alabama. I also did a lot of solo work for years with different groups. So I ran to Brother Cliff Drive in 99 is when I joined up with the Gospel Queens of the Cliff is an unbelievably accomplished musician. Um, it's hard to, to get him to sit still and tell you about it because he doesn't like to rehash it unless he's in the right mood, but um, Cliff played with everybody. I mean, since the 60s, only once he played with Tito Puente, I think he played with Ruth Brown. He played with everybody. I went to a school called the Lighthouse to take up music. Oh, although I went to blind school in Louisville, Kentucky, I just want to try to get out there some kind of way. <laughs> and I started playing with different bands here in New York. At the Fat Cat on Christopher Street, right in the, in the heart of the village, uh, we are there every Friday night from 9 to 10. The response that you get from a place that's not a church, uh, you know, where you would expect the people to be involved. When you play at a place like the Fat Cat, which I say like it's more like a game room club type of thing, you know, just entertainment for a lot of the young college people. To see them and to see them get so inspired over the music that, that we are doing, you know, that is really very inspirational to the group. Feedback is, is great because when you're able to relate to people and make them feel a part of what you're about, then the feedback is, is really great. We wanted to have a, a, a clear sound so that when people were buying a Daptone record, they knew what they were getting into. It might be gospel, it may be Afrobeat, it might be, it might be soul or funk or rhythm and blues, whatever it is, but it's going to be um, something raw and soulful and, and genuine. 
I call it very inspirational with a lot of funk under the bottom of it. You know, I mean the music, the music part is funky. You know what I mean? It's soulful, real soulful. We want to thank you for coming. Naomi Shelton, the Gospel Queen's new album is coming out early 2009, and it's going to be a smash hit. Hey!